Uh, let's jump in, shall we? Let's say hello to our loved ones. Mm, all to you. Gertie's on top. What's up, Gertie? Lale's in two. Way to go, Lale. Ruach. Ruach. I'm sorry if I don't know how to say your name, but hey, what's up? Uh, Shermina, how you doing? Denise is back. What's up, Denise? Gonna be Canadian soon. Uh, Lila, hey. Nana, hey. How was that test, Nana? Uh, all right. I'm happy to be here. Sweet. Ah, Parana. Oh, the Paranas are in the house. That's why. Huak. Uh, Gabby's in the house. What's up, Gabby? Maya's in the house. How you doing, Maya? Maria's in the house. Judy's in the house. We're all in the house. Manira's here. Hello, Manira. Uh, it's Shal, Shal. Mm, hi. Valeria. Yes. What's up? How you doing? Uh, Jerum, Jerum. Hello, hello. Misu. Hello. Only humans back. Marky Mark's in the house. Marky Mark. You know who Marky Mark is? Let me show you a picture. Maybe this is a little throwback for you. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Do you remember this guy? That's Mark Wahlberg. There he is. Look at him. Look at how cool he is and look at how young he was. He used to be... Oh, wait. I'm, I'm looking at myself. Hold on. Let's share, shall we? Here we go. This is what I wanted you to see. That's Marky Mark. He used to be Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. He used to be a rapper and then now he's an actor and now he directs. He kind of does everything. Look at him. Look at that baby face. And he used to rap and that used to be it. Marky Mark. So, there you are, Marky Mark. That's you. Okay, let me go back to this for a second. Who else we got in here? Uh, do, do, do. Igor's back. What's up, Igor? Good music. Sweet. Yeah, that's what we like. We like good music. Keep it rolling. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, there's more people here. Jeez. Man, that's not going to me. Rain, what's up? How you doing? Nadia, what's up? Miriam, what's up? How you doing? Van Silva, what's up? Rehab. I gotta go to rehab. Simon, what's up? Markta, what's up? Rodrigo's back. Where have you been, mate? Mate, where you been? Uh, he's been sleeping and been drinking, dealing with hangovers, I guess. Man, we had a good class for you, Rodrigo. It was all about hangovers. You weren't there. Could have helped you out. Could have saved you. Um, or not. What else? Who else we got in here? Let me go back. Plotina, hello. Florangel. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that name. What's up? Khalil's in the house. What's up, Mateus? Good, Mateus. Jose, what's up with you? We're all doing good. Feeling all right. It's Thursday. That means you're on the slide. It means you're on the slide to Friday. It's almost there. Wee! Jeans Day, yeah. Marjorie's in the house. What's up, Marjorie? Uh, all right, Sumaya, you, what up? Mohammed Faker, not a faker, real, real deal. And I'm sorry, I can't see your name, but it looks like there's an A at the beginning of your name. Maybe that's a Ukrainian, Polish. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm going to get, I'm not sure. I'm going to say Ukraine, but I have no idea. It could be Russian as well. Uh, all right, who else we got here? Man, whoa. Is this chat just getting bigger or am I just doing this wrong? Alex, what's up? Fedor! Tam, 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 tam. I don't know what that means, but what's up? Tam, tam, back to you, buddy. Edgar's back. There he is, Edgar. How are you doing? Busy today, tomorrow, travel to Italy. That's cool, Edgar. I wish I could travel to Italy. <laughs> Fedor's in the house. Khalil, what's up, Khalil? All right, matey. Hello, what's up, matey? And I think we're good. Bogan in the house. There we go. Let's take a look at a Bogan. That's Australian. Rodrigo's dropping some uh, Australian slang for you. The word Bogan. Uh, let's see what we can find. If you ever go to Australia and you are, you could meet <laughs> one of these people. So hold on. I keep doing this. This is what I want to show you. These people might be Bogan. Uh, it's kind of like saying like rednecks. If you don't know rednecks, rednecks are people who usually live in the countryside. Um, usually live in the countryside. Anyways, let's let's move on, shall we? Hanan, what's up? Thank you, Edgar. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. All right, let's do this, shall we? So, you're gonna like today's topic because um, today you get to you get to let it all out. You're just gonna you're just gonna chill. You're just gonna feel better. You're gonna vent. Do you know this word? Vent. Vent is like when you just let them, you say everything that's on your mind. So here we go. Let's start off with your question of the day. And the question of the day is this. Hello. What do you like to complain about? What do you like to complain about? And what do you complain about? So let's talk about it. You're going to feel so much better after today, I promise. So the question today is that. What do you like to complain about? Let's look at some complaints, shall we? Let's see what goes on here. Let's see who complains and what they complain about. This guy. Do you know this TV show? That 70s show? I don't remember what his name was, but he always complains. He's a, he's a 
perfect example of someone complains. What does he say here? Well, I'd like to help, but not as much as I'd like not to. <laughs> That's great. Uh, oh man, what's his name? Ned? No, it's not Ned. Anyways, that's a great line. Look at that. Well, I'd like to help, but not as much as I'd like not to. That's a great line. You should use that. That's pretty funny. What else does he say? Responsible people don't go around getting their nipples twisted. You yeah, know, that could be good advice. Very nice. What else we got here? Who else complains? Uh, oh, yeah, look at this guy. What's that? What's his name? Cena? Oh, no. What? I don't remember his name, but it's hard. There we go. Very nice. So tell me your answer. What do you like to complain about? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Enough with the whining already. Good. We're going to learn some of this language today. It's going to be it's going to be useful. It's going to be fun. Hello, Danya from the Netherlands. How are you doing? Uh, Texas. His name is Red. Thank you, Alana. Thank you for getting that right. And Alana, you seem to have the smart going on. You've got this, this, this special little logo there which we love. I think you're, that means you're a smart subscriber. If you are, big heart, sending it out to you. So there we go, this is it. Enough of the whining already, but we're gonna whine today. We're gonna, we're gonna bitch and complain about a bunch of stuff and it's gonna be great. Uh, so here we go, and if you are new in the house, please say hello to our new people. I know there's a few new ones. I think, uh, I think a few of them I saw in there. Anyway, say hello to our new people in the house. If you are new, I'm gonna introduce you to everything and how we do it here. Tell me what you complain about, let's go. Uh, the topic of today, huak, 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 I, <laughs> sorry, I don't know how to say your name, uh, is complaining. We're going to bitch and complain, and that's a collocation that you should remember. Bitch and complain, because we always say that, so it's good, it's useful for you. Uh, pollution, yeah, he has a low level of testosterone. Alexander, what, 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 what are you talking about? Uh, prices, yes, I live in Vancouver, Ahmed, I understand when you bitch complain about prices. The environment, yeah, that could be a reason, right? I like to complain about ads on television. They always interrupt good programs. Yes, and let me double up on that, Lolly. Ads in movies. I go to, uh, when I was young, a long time ago, movie theaters had no ads. You would just get the trailers. You're like, yes, yes, that's cool, cool, cool. Gonna see that, gonna see that, gonna see that. And that was just full of ads, like bank commercials and mortgages, and you're like, ugh get out of my movie but ah, that's the way it goes isn't it traffic jams yeah my frustration hashtag frustration um, I wish it could be as cold as Canada you don't Igor not to where I live not when it's minus 45 buddy you don't uh, what else we got here mm -hmm. taxes for real for real the fact that I put on weight that's rough Alexander I hear you man no more cookies uh, if I were an English person, I would complain about the weather. Judy, if you lived in Vancouver, you could probably also complain about the weather, at least in winter, because it's kind of like Britain, except we do have summer, so it's not that bad. Uh, Rodrigo, it's crazy to wake up early like that for me. Yeah, sorry, brother. Sorry, that's the only time I really got time to do it. Until later, until Ken finds his evening schedule and makes that happen somehow. It's going to be at this time. But eventually, I'll try to do it earlier for you guys, if possible. Uh, what else we got here? Do, 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 do. Gabby says, I'd like to complain about the amount of plastic used in packages and plastic bags in supermarkets. Absolutely, Gabby. That's, that's a good Vancouver thing to complain about. There's too much plastic, and the wrapping, and they wrap it again, they wrap it again. It's just, ugh. And if you go to a country like Taiwan or Japan, You'll have wrappings because they like to give gifts. So it's like individual wrappings within another wrapper within another wrapper. It's really a huge waste. Totes maggot. What How, What did you say to me, Rodrigo? That sounds rude. What's going on there? Ryan, hi, argumentative essay. Ooh, probably not today, Ryan. Uh, I do speak fast. Sorry, Danya. You're from the Netherlands. You should be quite good. I have someone from the Netherlands in my morning class. You must be good. So, But I will try to slow down a little bit. But probably I won't. Uh, about a man who complains constantly from TV. The burger I ate yesterday was horrible. Rough times, Amini. Yeah, ads in movie theaters are the worst. I complain about bad behavior of people driving. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, what else we got? The price, the beer price. I complain about that truck. That's true. Hashtag truth, uh, for sure. Uh, Miriam, 
while I'm at home. It's about my lazy children. Ugh, lazy children are the worst. I used to be one. Might still be one. Uh, I complain about my soccer team. Yeah, I hear you. My hockey team had a tough year, Igor, so I, I understand. Traffic jams, yeah. Weather in Canada, sorry, Denise. Snow three days ago, Jesus. Where, where are you, Denise? Where are you again? I feel like you're in Alberta. Hopefully not Saskatchewan. Uh, it's even worse. Alexander, uh, I read the low, low level of testosterone have a tendency to complain more. What? Oh my goodness, that's science. I've read that people with a low level of testosterone complain more. I don't know. Testosterone, you got a lot of energy to complain, could have complain more. Complain more often. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder. Khalil, my sats is coming soon. That's what I'm complaining about. Hashtag truth. Saima, why, why do most people... Mm, oh, why do the people mostly not polite? Oh, why are people... Why are most people not polite? It's just the world, I guess. Everybody's interested in themselves first, so they, you got to be interested in other people first, and maybe more people would be polite. Uh, okay, cool, cool. I'm good, Wafa. I'm good. No worry. Get in here. I didn't see you walk in, so you're good. All right, there we go. Markham, Ontario. That's why. Uh, yeah. Denise, come to Vancouver. It's the best weather in Canada. That's why I'm here. Uh, I'm here. Okay. Anyways, let's go in, shall we? Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to give you this document. Oh, that's not it. Let me try that again. I'm going to give you the document and I'm going to give you some situations. And basically, I want you to think about how you would reply and what you would say in these situations. I'm going to give you some new words and I want you to be creative. I want you to think about words that you would use. You can go on the internet. You can do anything you want to help this conversation. So let's do this. So there it is. There's the document. It's in the chat. Open it up and you will have access to all this awesomeness that we're going to talk about today. So basically, all you have to do is go to this document and take a look at situation number one. No, it's over there. You can't see that. Anyways, situation number one. So here we go. Let's jump in, shall we? Here we go. So here's the situation. I'm going to teach you some new words too. There we go. Perfect. Your t you have a teenage son. Yeah. Sorry. Your teenage son is going through a heavy metal phase. Do you know heavy metal? Do you know what that is? Heavy metal is that music that sounds like it's angry. Let's see here. Heavy metal band. So if you see some guys that look like, let's say these guys, they probably play heavy metal. Okay, or if you see a grant, yeah, maybe those guys there, these guys, who else we got here? Oh, yeah, there's some heavy metal bands, yeah, there's some classic ones. If you see guys like that on the cover of a CD or whatever, they probably play heavy metal. So your, your teenage son is unfortunately going through a heavy metal phase, and he cranks up, crank it up, like this, cranks up the volume all the time. So he's listening to music, he's like, yeah, 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 and it's driving you nuts, it's making you crazy. You have to talk to the son of yours, the son that you gave birth to and you brought, in, I brought you into the world, I can take you out. So you strongly say to your son, what do you say to your son? I give you three options and I want you to create more options. <laughs> Lolly says, I love heavy metal music, crank it up more. Sweet, good one. Nice, nice answer. Let's try again. So what we're going to do, this is the warm-up waffle, but it's also the vocab activity. What's going on? So it's not really a warm-up. But anyways, that's cool. So you say to your teenage son of, let's say, 14 or 15 or 16 years old, I'm sick and tired of, you could also say, I've, I've had just about enough of, no, 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 or enough is, I'm going to finish that one for you because there's only one answer for that one. We say, in English, we say, enough is enough. Basically, I'm, and that's another one, I'm done, I'm done with this. So let me add that, boom, I'm done with, so I'll give you that one. So there's four options you can say, one of them's already done for you, but finish that sentence. What do you say? Uh, where are you from, my brother? Stanislaw, are you talking to me? Uh, if you're talking to me, I'm from Canada. I'm from Vancouver. I'm living in Vancouver, Canada. So what do you say to this child of yours? 
I'm fed up. Thank you, Alexander. Nice one. I'm fed up. I'm fed up with this music. It means I'm sick. Basically, you're, you're tired. I'm sick and tired. I don't want to hear this heavy metal music anymore. I'm fed up with this music. This, this angry music is making me angrier. Get out of my... Whoa, Marjorie, come on. He's your son. Remember, we're going to strongly say, but we're not... We, we, have to, we have to say it with some love. We can't kick them out entirely. You... <laughs> Edgar, very nice. You drive me crazy. Nice one. You drive me crazy with this bull. There we go. There we go. Nice one, Edgar. Nice one. You drive me crazy with this. Done. I'm fed up with this crazy music. Yeah, you are making me making me bananas. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody, somebody's mother would say that for sure. Uh, you drive me crazy. I'm fed up with this. Yeah, sure. I cannot put up with this anymore. Yeah, I cannot put up with this anymore. There we go. Nice one. So you cannot put up with this anymore. It's just, nah, no more. What else can you say? You're getting on my nerves. Yep. You could definitely say that. You are getting on my nerves. Yeah. Or this music. This music is, yeah, anyways. You are getting on my nerves. There we go. Boom. Tell him. Tell that kid. Tell that 14-year-old punk. There's a new word for you, a punk. I can't stand it. Yeah, I can't. I can't stand this music anymore. I can't tolerate this music more. I'm about to lose it. Uh, <laughs> Wafa, the, oh, Wafa, you got to download the document, Wafa. Open this up, Wafa Wafa. Open that up. Basically, we're looking here. We are finishing the sentence. So the situation is here. Your teenage son listens to a lot of crazy music, turns up the volume all the time. It's making you crazy. So you have to say something to your teenage son. So what do you say? You could say one of these wonderful things, or you can create your own. Yeah, I can't take it. I can't take. I can't take this music anymore. I can't. It's the same as tolerate, right? You cannot tolerate, you cannot stand it, and you cannot take it anymore. Yeah, very nice. This is ridiculous. Yes, you could say that. Uh, what else we got? You make me crazy. You're making me crazy. Or maybe this music is making me crazy. Didn't we do it? Yeah, driving me crazy, making me crazy. Same idea, right? Say da 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 is making me crazy. Yeah, you could definitely say that. Making me crazy. Cool. All right, there we go. Uh, what? <laughs> what's going on? What the hell is going on? Okay, cool. So there we go. I think we. I think we conquered that situation. Look at that. Look at all those awesome things we can say to tell that stupid kid. Stop it. Stop being. It. Okay. So there we go. Next one, number two, your situation number two. I'll put the situation in the chat. That's what I should do. Uh, so here we go. Let me put it in the chat for you. So here's situation number two, just in case you don't have a document open. Situation number two, your significant other. Do you know this word? Your significant other basically means your, usually means your husband or your wife. Um, usually means husband or wife. So if you say, oh, my significant other is on vacation or whatever, that means your husband or wife. So your significant other uh, has been getting on your nerves lately, basically, annoying you. Um, they never do any work around the house. And you, in the end, finally, you end up doing it all. You do most of the housework. But remember, this is your, this is your partner in life, your significant your significant other. So you have to calmly say. So now we're going to tone it down. We're going to crank it down and we're going to calmly say, honey, baby doll, sweetheart, or hubby, right? Hubby would be your husband. 
honey would be probably, well, honey's, honey's neutral. If you say honey, it could be for guys or for girls. If you say hubby, it means husband. Um, and here we go. So here's some things you could say. You could say, honey, would you mind? So that's calm, right? And we're being polite. <laughs> you passed through my blood. This must be, this must be some kind of uh, translation. If you do have a cool translation, uh, try to translate it into English. That's amazing. Uh, number two, you could also say, sweetheart, sweetheart, my darling. I wish you wouldn't. That's an option as well. And new word for you, Snooky Wookums. Yeah, if you wanted to call your beloved something, you could say that. Uh, and same idea, I was wondering if you could. Would you mind to bring me some beer? Hmm, okay, this is, this is not the situation. I know you like beer, Lolly, but the situation is, is basically your, your partner is annoying you because they don't do any work around the house. We have to fix the situation. So what would you say, Khalil? Hello, hello, Khalil. Uh, what would you say? Would you mind? I wish you wouldn't. What are some polite things? Remember, we have to be polite. This is our partner for life. You don't want to make this person angry. Uh, Khalil, Jeffy's rap one two. I do not know what that is, Khalil. Can you please explain what that means? I do not know. Could you please help me more? Yes, you could do that. Could you? Could you? Little. Could you? Would you? Could you? Could you please? Nice, polite. Yeah, we did that one the other day, right? We did that one, how to be polite. Could you please? Would you mind all those? Good. Could you please? Please, honey, don't do this again. Please help me out with the chores with an S because there's multiple. I can't hear. Turn on the top. Huh? What's going on? You talking to me, Rodrigo? You mean you can't hear me in my microphone? I'm not sure. Uh, what else? Would you mind helping me? Great. Yeah, very polite. Would you mind helping me with the chores? Is it too much to ask? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, is it polite? Mm. I wouldn't say it's polite, but it's definitely, it's a little bit demanding, but I'll put it there. Is it too much to ask if you, no, 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 no. Right. So basically you're saying like, am I asking too much from you? I think no. So be careful with that one. But yeah, is it too much to ask if you could help out around the house? Yeah. What else we got? Uh, would you mind washing the dishes? I am tired. Okay, Lolly, straight to directly, straight to the point. Would you mind cleaning the home? I'm going from home. I'm leaving, I'm leaving the house. Do the work yourself. Okay. Uh, I can't, I can't miss, I can't win, I'm not sure. Imini, honey, would you mind helping me? I can't deal with this alone. That's a good one. I can't deal with this alone. Uh, what else would you got? Would you mind? Yes. Uh, will you give me a hand? Good. There's a nice one as well. Will you? A little bit stronger. You could say will or would. Uh, instead of would you mind, it's will or would, would you give me a hand? with. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Nice one. Give me. Okay, cool. Booplop. <laughs> Great name. I can't see the rest of the paragraph. You mean this one, Booplop? This one right here? That's the paragraph there. Uh, I try to put it in the chat, so it should be in your chat at the top. Just scroll up a little bit. It'll say situation number two. Uh, what else we got? What else is polite? Yeah, good. Bay. <laughs> Very nice. If you don't know, bay is like baby. Uh, it's another way to say honey, bay. Mm, what else we got? I would. A little more direct, okay, so no question. I would appreciate some help. Some help. We'll just put that whole thing. I would appreciate bay, baby. I would appreciate some help. There we go. Good. All right. This seems to be conquered. I think we've done this. We do romantic at home with my honey. Yes, you do. Uh, can you please search Jeffy's rap one and two that upon Google? Sorry, Khalil. I'm, I'm trying to do this here. I'm not sure what is. Is it related to what we're doing? Uh, if it is, I can check it out. Uh, Ronald, grateful. Yes. Without ordering you, 
could you please take care of the kids yeah that would be good as well shortly would it be okay if you help with this shorty <laughs> shorty you're calling the person short okay uh, would you help me out all right we got it I think we got this one conquered situation number three here we go uh, bum, 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 bum. your roommate Paula you know Paula she's got a dog I think the dog's name is Bonnie uh, so your friend Paula must be Brazilian has a small dog it's very cute but a pain in the ass what does that mean a pain in the ass basically means it causes me problems it hurts my butt I don't know why we say it hurts my butt it just means it causes me problems so the dog is a pain in the ass you know you've maybe you've been through this before it never poops you know poop it never poops where it should it just often it takes a dump it takes a dump is another way to say poop it takes a dump on the carpet you know so basically the carpet you know the rug the mat takes a, a dump on the carpet near your room you have to talk to your roommate this is you know maybe you've got some cute little dog but it's causing problems you have to talk to your roommate so you you're gonna be strong with your roommate but you're also gonna be calm so it's a bit of a mixture so what are you gonna say uh, so let me give you a few so number one you could say uh, something like this yep you could definitely do that you could do the would you mind I'm gonna give you a little in-between one Paula Paula, something needs to be done about your dog. <laughs> okay, so something needs to be done. It's kind of not, you know, it's not super polite. It's not super rude. It's somewhere in the middle. Something needs to be done about your dog or your dog's bathroom behavior or something like that. Okay, uh, we could also say something like this. We might say something like this. Paula. My friend, my friend, I think we need, I think we need to figure out how to solve this pooping problem. The poopy, the poopy make it poopy and not so nicey. Don't, don't like the poopy. That was a black accent? No, I don't think it was. I think it was a Portuguese accent. Okay, so where, where we got here? Rodrigo's got an answer. Honey. Would you mind if I boot you out of here, you little? Oh my goodness, are you talking to the dog, Rodrigo, or are you talking to your significant other? Either way, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's going to go over well. So give me an answer. Give me an answer. Uh, what do we do about the poopy? The poopy have a poopy. We don't know what to do. Okay. I can't stick with it anymore. Could you do something? Mm, maybe I can't deal with this anymore. That's a good one can't deal with this anymore like this too much poopy with the poopy uh, okay so I can't deal with this anymore that could be one uh, what else we got here this yeah enough what else we got can you get rid of your dog Paula get rid of the dog I can't take it anymore I don't know that seems a little strong lolly I'll be honest with you uh, yeah, I don't think she's gonna get rid of the poopy uh, maybe the poopy but not the poopy a suck huh what's going on here I'm not sure what's going on okay uh, what else we got what else so again we're not super polite we're not super rude we're in the middle what can we say get the dog no that's a little too rude Khalil I don't think we're this dog is a pain in the neck hmm sounds a little strong I think that would have been good for the teenager the, uh, you're a pain in my neck or butt uh, I can't deal with this anymore something needs to be done about the dog I think we need to figure out this dog situation I can't deal with this dog anymore um, I cannot stand nah, too strong could you do something that would be okay That's a good one, right? Because it's like you're asking directly, but it's also polite language. Could you do something about your dog? It is pooping in front of my bedroom. This is not nice. It's so messy. Please find a way. I cannot stand in it. Could you kindly walk your dog? Take your dog for more walks. I have just joined. No, Munir, the topic is not about poop. It's a, a situation about the dog. If you scroll back, you go back up in the chat and you'll see the situation that I was talking about. 
and we're just thinking about polite. We're thinking about uh, complaining or suggesting, basically. Actually, sorry, it's not only about complaining. It's actually complaining and suggesting today that we're going to look at both. Uh, so, because they, sometimes they're kind of the same. You need to deal with the situation. Yeah, can't tolerate this mess anymore. You have to choose uh, the dog or free rent for me. There we go. Paula is a hot one. This changes everything. Hmm. Rodrigo, you, you've <laughs> you've gotten more. You're more Rodrigo than you used to be. Your your dog is a rock in my shoe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I feel like we sorted this dog problem out. Next one. Now, this one's sensitive. You're going to have to be careful with this one. Next one. Your grandma. You know grandma. Your grandma, who is super lovely and kind, uh, makes horrible dishes. I believe, I'm not sure anymore. Only human, I'm really not sure. Your grandma, your grandma, who is super lovely, super lovely and kind grandma, you know, grandma. But she makes horrible dishes. What are dishes? Food, like when you have spaghetti, it's an Italian dish. And if you have ramen, it's a Japanese dish. So we say food, dishes, same. Uh, so she makes horrible dishes. But she is very sensitive about her cooking. So basically, if you say, Grandma, your cooking is not good, or, oh, the Grandma, this isn't very good, she's going to get, she's going to be really hurt. She's going to be like, no, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. She's going to get really sensitive about it. So the last time, the last time your brother, your terrible brother, your rude brother, criticized her, he said, Grandma, your food is, you know, maybe it needs salt. And Grandma, Grandma got all worked up. What does that mean? Let me explain that in two seconds. Okay, next one. So basically, uh, the last time your brother criticized her, grandma got all worked up. Worked up means got excited, kind of maybe angry or frustrated or something like that. Uh, and she asked, today she asks you if you want to eat out. Yay, solution, okay? All right, so. Uh, fortunately, today she asks you if you want to eat out, if you want to go to a restaurant, and you carefully say. So again, you are not complaining. You are actually suggesting that we go out. Because remember, Grandma makes bad food. Uh, but you don't want to hurt her feelings because Grandma's sensitive. So you have to suggest something. So you're not complaining. You're suggesting like, mmm, mm hmm mmm, that's a good idea. So what would you say? I'm going to give you a couple options. So here is number one. Well, Grandma, eating out doesn't sound like a bad idea. So basically, you're saying, oh, you know, well, maybe we could just, you know, just this once, Grandma, your food is great. But let's just go out today. It doesn't sound like a bad idea. That's one thing you could say to Grandma. What else could you say to Grandma so you don't hurt her feelings, but you're making a nice suggestion? Mm -hmm. I say, well, Grandma. Oh my goodness, Rodrigo. No, no. Leave Paula alone and her puppy. Uh, well, Grandma, it could be good. Yeah, there you go. How about? What about? Yeah, all of those. You can say, well, Grandma, why don't we eat out? Maybe we should eat out for a change. Or what about? What about? eating out for a change. Also, that's good. Or how about eating out for a change? Basically, all the same idea. What about, how about, or why don't we? Would you like to eat out somewhere else? It would be a great idea. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Oh, Grandma, you need a break. Grandma, you've been working too hard in the, in the kitchen cooking food for us. You need a break. I'm going to take you out. That's the answer. Yeah, can I go out? Can we go out together and eat outside today, please? Remember, we want to be polite. We don't want to hurt Grandma's feelings. Well, Grandma, how about trying a new restaurant? I want to try it with you. Yeah, I think you would really like this restaurant. We should go there. What do you think about? What do you think about eating out? Yeah, that's good as well. Mm-hmm, okay. And there we go, all good. Well, Grandma, because the weather's so nice today, why not enjoy dinner outside? Or just why not? 
Yeah, so she's offering. Remember, your grandma's offering. She says she wants. If you want to go out, we can go out. And you say, why not? Let's go. Okay. All good. Let's go out today. They have free food. Yeah, free food. I'm gonna pay for it. Okay, so good. We're kind of suggesting here. We're not really being rude. We're just kind of saying, oh, why don't we do this? Uh, do 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 do. Fortunately, uh, so you carefully say. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, anyways, there we go. And I think the last one I'm going to do, because I want, I want you guys to give me your situations. The last one is number five. I think I'll do this one. Situation number five. Last one. Uh, you booked a reservation for a friend's birthday party. Okay, so basically you went to a restaurant. You said, okay, we're going to be there at 7 p.m. It's my friend's B birthday party or B-day party. The waiter, who seemed irritated by your presence. So th this waiter does not like you already. Uh, not sure. Uh, so the waiter, the guy, who seems irritated, he seems annoyed. He seems like he's doing his job, but he already seems annoyed by you. You're the customer, but he's annoyed. Why? He seems irritated by your present. And the waiter, he shows up, he comes, he arrives 20 minutes late after you sit down. Too late. People need drinks. People need to take orders. People need water. And then he screws up. He makes mistakes with half of your orders. So a lot of mistakes on it. Uh, he screws up half. Screw up means make a mistake. So he screws up half of the drinks on your order. Finally, after many hours, a few hours, you have bad service, bad service, bad service. And then finally, he comes to your table and he reminds you, he tells you that there is a 19% mandatory tip for large groups. So basically, you get bad service. He doesn't seem to like you. Uh, really late and then he tells you oh and you have to pay 19% tip on top of that now what do you say to your friends in this situation so I only got one but here's the first one Wow I would say wow wow that's the last time I da 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 you are so blessed. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think I'd say that. What would you say to your friend? So you've had this horrible service, bad service all night, supposed to be your friend's birthday party. Service sucks, kind of makes the party less awesome. And uh, what do you say? What do you say in this situation? Oh, Faiza's still on the grandma. Hello there. Well, grandma, what about recording your stories on YouTube so other people can benefit from them for a change? That's a very interesting suggestion, Faiza. I can't believe this guy. Yeah, that's a good one. I can't, I can't believe this guy, this dude. I can't believe this guy, dude, whatever. Yeah, that's a good one. It's unbelievable, right? This must be a joke, yeah. Uh, I must be on TV. <laughs> I must be on TV because this is crap. Must be on TV. Because this is a joke. Yep. Did that just happen? Right? Or just really? Really? After all that? And then we gotta pay that? I don't know. Maybe this is, this might be exaggerated a little bit, but you could say that. He must be kidding. Yeah, that's a good one. He must be kidding. Joking. Yeah, that's a good one. Must be kidding. Must be joking. What else? Uh, first, yep. No, this is the first and last time that I, da, 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 da. This is the first and last time. So maybe it's the first time you go there. It's also the last time you go there. You're not going back. Yep, Lolly's got the same idea. The last time I set foot in here, or I will, maybe I'll take that one. I will never set foot in here. Set foot. Don't go there. I will never f set foot in here again. Never. There we go. Sorted. Solved. It's insane. Can somebody pinch me? Yeah. What is going on? Are you serious? Uh, your service doesn't even deserve 1% tip. Yeah, that's right. I will not come here any other day. Something like that. You must be kidding. You must be joking. Yeah, all good answers. I won't say anything. You'll slap the waiter in the face. Yeah, you'll go to jail for that, Emilia. I wouldn't do that. 
to puck fan on someone. What is puck fan, Faiza? I do not know. Never again will I go here. <laughs> Alexander, I like how you inverted. Never again will I go here. Very poetic. Is there a hidden camera? Yeah, it could be. Could be a good joke. Is there a hidden camera here? Because I think I just got punked. Yeah. There we go. There's another one. Give him Paolo's dog. Yeah, the pooper. Yeah, the pooping poppy. All right, so there we go. So I think I've got it. So here we go. Uh, what I'm going to get you to do, we've done some. We've talked about a few ways to kind of be, you know, strong, polite, suggestions. We've talked about a few of those things. So basically, uh, I would like you to create your own situation. We've got a little bit of time left. So please do this. Uh, create your own situation. I want you to think of a situation. You can write it down in the chat. Now create your own situation, share the situation with us. One situation will be chosen by me. And then I want you to use the vocabulary that you've learned today to reply to the situation. And if you need some ideas, I can probably give you a few just by looking up here. This one's kind of funny. I actually looked at this one and I had this plan for, for, for my last situation. If it's early in the morning, you say that. There we go. What else we got? Uh, oh yeah, a little golem. There we go. Not listening. There we go. So I want you to think about your own. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So I want you to think about some situations where you might complain. What are some situations when you might complain? So I want you to take it on the document. I want you to write down a situation and share it in the chat. So create your own situation. Uh, it could be a restaurant. It could be, I don't know, when you're getting service somewhere, right? At a restaurant. Uh, it could be a complaint about your teacher. It could be a complaint about your mother-in-law. It could be a complaint about mm, some pet, some animal, the price of something. What else? Uh, situation, what else would you complain about? The weather, oh, the weather in Vancouver, dear Lord. Uh, traffic. Uh, yeah, so we're going to complain. We could, okay, so there's one. We could complain about traffic. I'm going to add some suggestions here. Traffic. Super slow. Slow moving complaints. Fast moving complaints. Hmm, there's a theme. There could be a theme there. Traffic. Super slow. Stuck for three hours. Boom, complain about it. Being late, uh, somebody's late, never on time. Never on time. That would be more, right? If they're never on time, we can complain about it more. GOT spoilers. GOT spoilers. You know, if you don't know what Game of Thrones is, learn it. That's your homework. Uh, heavy traffic, yeah, got that. Avengers spoilers, yeah, movie spoilers. Let's just put movie. Movie and TV spoilers. Movie and TV spoilers, yep, complain about that. The exam was too easy. Mm, something too easy. Exam is too easy. You can complain. Oh, the exam was too easy. Who's going to complain about that? If the exam's too hard, let's do that. Exam is too hard or something like that. What else could you complain about? Cleaning up the house, dirty house. You know, dirty house. Um, other people don't help out. Okay, that's a good one. I'm fed up with my teacher of history. I'm literally done with him. Ha, ah, nice one. Good joke, Amini. Okay, uh, that's all right. Complain about the teacher, yeah. Look at that annoying teacher gave me an F. Teacher doesn't like, gives me bad grades. Yep. Doesn't like me. Don't like him. Cool. All right, what else we got? Hello, Nandish. How you doing? Come on in. Noisy neighbors. Yeah, that might have been me when I was younger, unfortunately. So sorry to my neighbors. Noisy neighbors. Uh, nosy. No, oh, nosy neighbors. Noisy, noisy neighbors. Not nosy. Noisy neighbors. Play loud music. Play loud music. Stay up late. 
Yeah. Don't cut their lawn. All right, what else? Teacher's pets. Oh, okay. Teacher's pets. Yeah, that could be a good one as well. I was applying for your question when you said, how was your exam? Too easy. Oh, okay. There you go. Ah, that's what it was. Okay, so good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad the exam was too easy. Uh, better than too hard. Angry boss. Okay. Angry boss. Gives too much, gives me too much work. Yells at me. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, money and prices. Uh, city, my city is too expensive. Uh, city is too expensive. Number nine, rude people. Rude people. What else? Power failure. Rude people. Um, never say, never say, never polite. Okay. Delayed flights. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Delayed flights. Waiting long time. Uh, we're talking about, we're complaining now. No. We're complaining about things. We're complaining about different things that could happen in your life. So I think now, now it's time to choose one of these things. Got a hot beer at the pub. <laughs> oh, that's a rough one. Beer is hot. A warm beer. Warm beer. How can I drink that? You can't. Ooh, bad internet connection. Oh man, there's so many things to complain about. Bad internet connection. Okay, I'm gonna have to choose one of these. All right, so we gotta choose one and we gotta practice. So which one? Ooh, so many options. Traffic, being late, um, someone late, never on time. Who? Let's start with this one. This seems like a good one. So the topic we're going to do today is someone is late. We'll say a student. Someone is late, never on time. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to do number two. So what are we going to say? We got a, let's say we got a student or something like that. They're, they're always late. They're never on time. Let's do number two. They're, what do we say about this person? Uh, so use anything that you've learned today. So someone is late, never on time, don't care about coming on time. Okay, we got all these things. So what are you going to say to this person? You say, you know what, you're always saying, now we're going to complain. Now you can complain however you want. You want to be polite? Be polite. You want to be rude? Be rude. You want to be somewhere in the middle? Be somewhere in the middle. So you go ahead. So we have a problem. The student does not care about, we'll say student, why not? It's my life. Uh, student does not care about coming on time. They're never on time. They're late. Don't work hard. I'm going to add more. Don't work hard in class. I'm going to say student. Student always late. So here's, this is the one we're going to use. This is the topic for today. Because I'm a teacher and this happens sometimes. No, with you guys, of course. You're never late because I never see you come in. So student always late, never on time, don't work hard in class. What do you say? What do you say to the student? You say... Oh, I got a good one. Clean up your act. Clean up your, oh, I'm, I'm writing it. I should write it here. Or clean up your act. Basically means clean up your actions. Uh, clean up your act. Basically means, yeah, it means you're disorganized and lazy. Get it together, man. Get it together. Get it together, kid. Get together it means get organized. You know, you're always late. You're never, you're never on time. Get it together. What about showing up on time? <laughs> this is a great one, Alexander. I love it. Hey, uh, kid, what about showing up on time? Just think about it. Just think about it. Give it some thought. Lolly would just scream at them. Lazy. Yeah, there you go. You could also do that, brother. Needless to say, you are late as usual. It's <laughs> a good one. I like that one. That's very good, Ahmed. Brother. And I like how you say brother or sister. You can do sister as well. Brother. Needless to say. That's a good one. Needless to say. Basically, I don't have to say it, but I say it anyways. Needless to say, you are so late as usual. That's, um, that's great. You are so late as usual. And you say it kind of calm. You're like, you know what, brother? Needless to say, you are so late as usual. 
Get your crap together. Get your get together. There we go. There's another one. Yep, sometimes you just got to say it. Uh, what else? You never, you are, you are never on time. And it makes me crazy. So get yourself together, man. Good one. Good one, Edgar. Maria, you should be thinking about your conduct. Ooh, very formal, very nice teacher answer. Maria, uh, you should think about your conduct, your behavior. Please show up on time. Very nice. Good one. Uh, you should think about. Dun, dun, dun. Very nice. Good teacher, good teacher voice. Very well done. Uh, stop being tardy, rehab. <laughs> tardy means late, so yeah, so good one. Show some respect and be on time. Whoa, whoa, teacher. Whoa, that's a good one. Show some respect, but it does. But it is true, isn't it? Be on time. Show some respect. Because, you know, it's true. When students are being lazy in class, it's not respecting everybody. It's not respecting the other students. It's not respecting the teacher. It's not respecting your parents. Sometimes, I'm, usually it's kids, right? It's not respecting your parents who spent a lot of money for you to go to Canada and study. Show some respect. It's totally true. Should I buy a watch for you? <laughs> a very nice question, yeah. Uh, Danya, why are you always, why are you, W-H-Y, why are you always late? Yeah, good one. Denise, my sister is the best person I have ever met, but she is always late to our meetings. It is driving me crazy. How can she constantly do that? Unbelievable. I hear you. Family. Uh, all the time you are late to class, uh, Saima. All the time you are late to class. If you do this next time, you will get extra work. Nice teacher. Uh, Nana, you taught me how to be patient with late people like you. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Alexander, how can I help you to show up on time? Additional homework, maybe? That could be a good one. Uh, yeah, that was good. Stop relaxing, start taking action. Stop relaxing, stop relaxing, action, please. No zombies. Uh, oh, you missed all the fun. Next time you should join us by getting here on time. Very smooth, like it. Saima, be punctual. Yes, be on time, good word, punctual. You should think about changing your job if you still want to be rich. Hmm? Okay. All right, very nice. Uh, let's do one more. I think we got time for one more. Eh, no, we don't really. Uh, dirty house, dirty people, angry boss. You have to be careful talking to your boss. Let's do one more easy one. Last one. Last, last, last one is city is too expensive. Please complain. Feel free. Or suggest. You can complain or suggest. Uh, so the city is too, spen too expensive. It costs too much money. So you say, what do you say? city is too expensive. I live in a city which is too expensive, so I have a lot of things to say. Hmm. Uh, yes, as well. Uh, okay, what else? City is too expensive. Uh, what do we say? I don't know. What can you say? You can complain, but can you do anything? Why is everything so expensive? Stop ripping us off. Yes. Why is this city such a ripoff? A ripoff means it takes your money. So if you call, if you say, "Oh, those are a ripoff," it means they're not. You shouldn't pay that much money for them. Why is the city such a ripoff? Yeah, I can't afford. I can't afford to live here. Yep, it's another one. A ripoff. Yep. Uh, thank God we don't pay for oxygen. <laughs> nice. Thank God. Thank God we don't pay for oxygen. I like that one. Mm -hmm. That's a good one liner. That's a good one. Okay, very nice. It looks like a black hole for money. This topic is never ending. Yeah, it could literally go on forever. Uh, Ahmed, why? Why it's do not does in denim sentence? 
please. Where is denim sentence? Uh, Ahmed, you might have to give me that sentence again because I don't know where it is. I have a lot of sentences in front of me here, so it's probably disappeared. Give me the sentence again. I'll try to grab it. Uh, what else we got? It's a black hole. Yeah, the city is a black hole for money. Yep, it's expensive. The city. And save some money. Why is there a rash? Not sure. They've got to be kidding me. Why are the prices so expensive or very expensive? The city is robbing people, ripping people off. Only human. Ripping. R I P P I N G. Faiza, the city is too expensive, so you should think about a new car and living in the countryside. There you go, just change. We even pay for oxygen in the hospital. That's true as well. All right, very nice. Oh, I know I'm, I'm buzzing, I'm blowing up here. Okay, which means we're going to have to wrap this up. Uh, what else we got here? We should live in a small house. Yes. How does it constantly do that? How she constantly does that. How does she constantly do that? How does she? She goes. How does? So because she goes with an S, how does with an S, how does she? How does she constantly do? And do is the verb you want to use. How does she, how does she go? How does she do? How does she buy? That's why. Uh, Lolly, why do you need more money? You have all the necessities. I can't make money out of air. Hello, Kazawa. Kazawa, how are you doing? You're <laughs> just missing. We're just about to finish up here, but we recorded everything. Don't forget to check it out. Uh, okay. So, anyways, we got a few. Th these are very specific, so different ways to complain. Anyways, if you go back up here, you'll see that we got a bunch of ways to complain about different things, and also make suggestions so we don't hurt Grandma's feelings. So there they are there. If you go up, if you check this out, I'll share that with you one more time. Life does suck sometimes. Uh, do you think money grows on trees? That's a good one as well. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the document is here. I'll share it with you one more time. All the stuff we talked about today is on there. So now you can politely and not so politely and semi-politely complain or make suggestions just like anonymous capybara. Uh, in English. So there it is. It's all there for your viewing and speaking pleasure. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Another exciting topic will be had next week. Uh, less complainy, maybe more lovey, you know, whatever. But anyways, now you know how to do it. You have all these amazing th things to say. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, have an amazing weekend. It's Thursday. You're on the slide. You're almost there. For some of you, it's Friday and you're in your pajamas. Go to bed. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate that. We'll catch you next week. If you're new to the chat, Wednesday at 2 p.m. Vancouver time, click like on YouTube, and then you'll get a sub you'll get a reminder, and then you'll know when everything's going on. And also Thursday at 2 p.m. We will be back. That's it for me. Have yourselves an amazing weekend. Love you all. Kiss, kiss, hug, hug. See you next time. Bye, bye.